Well, it's Let's Talk Business. I'm Steve Walling. Welcome to the show. For my guest on this segment is Mark Medina. Mark, flat cap realty, or um, <laughs> photography. Sorry, flat, flat cap, cap photography. That's a mouthful. But you've been in, you've got a, how many years experience you were telling me? I've been shooting since I was 12, so roughly almost 20 years. About 20 years of experience. Guy knows what he's doing, and he's recently opened up his own shop. Yes. Flat cap photography. Fedora. I'm sorry. Flat cap Fedora photography. Yes. It's a mouthful. Tell me, Mark, about, you know, we, we were talking about it. Give me a little bit about your history and tell me about what you specialize in. Well, um, I started shooting pictures and photos since I was small, uh, basically because my dad needed somebody to record my brothers playing soccer. Oh, there you go. And so from there, I was the de facto photography person. And I learned a lot from my dad. Uh -huh. My dad used to do it before me. And as time went on, I took a class in high school. Mm -hmm. I opened up a computer business, did some consulting. Right. And eventually opened up my first studio uh -huh. um, and showing some artwork. And now I opened up my own. All right, cool. Um, what do you specialize in? We specialize, and I specialize in event photography. Okay. Explain event photography to us. Uh, that's usually anything like a wedding, a band playing, a birthday party. Uh, I've done everything from Halloween parties for Michael Blunt Salon. Okay. I've covered uh, Born Betty. I've covered uh, 1140. I've covered um, most of Jamelin. Uh, so you do bands? Bands. You know? Do you do, uh, you know, like like uh, photography for bands, like when they're performing, say, like they're... Fulton 55 or one of these places, you go in and shoot them live or do you, you know, do you do in-studio work or you do both? What do you do? I do both, but I prefer live. Uh -huh. um, I, I love the ability of catching uh -huh. somebody doing what they do best and loving it, and I like to show that out to the world. Um, if you go to my Facebook page, you'll see some video of Born Betty okay. uh, at the Standard, and this is them performing live, and they sound good in person, they sound great in the studio. Uh, 1140 sounds good in person and the studio as well. But it's it's just the idea of catching that and, and showing that to other people, kind of telling the story. Getting that, that moment, that yeah, the moment. right expression, the feeling, the passion, or whatever that's going on. But that also translates into the other types of events, weddings that you do. Um, in doing events besides musicians and bands, what is the, the most challenging event type of event that you do? Oh, that one's easy. Weddings are probably some of the most challenging, as, as well as quinceaneras, um, which is the 15-year-old yeah. birthday parties. Right. And um, the reason why they're so challenging is because the the star of the event, which is usually the wife, the mm -hmm. bride to be, right, uh, or the uh, the girl that's the young lady, her, yeah. the young lady, um, they're expecting perfection. Mm -hmm. And on days like that, everything and anything can usually go wrong. <laughs> and so, as a photographer, we're expected to have a very well published, finished product. And right. That I do, that but you have to go beyond that. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you have to go and be there before the event starts mm -hmm. to make sure that they're ready, they're calm, and everything's good to go, and let them know that you're ready for it. Mm -hmm. That you've done your homework, you've looked over the event area, you know where you're going to get the best angles you know how to make them look great and how to make them feel great. Because in the end, 10 years later, when they look back at these pictures, they're not going to remember the DJ who came half drunk. Yeah. Except for the fact that maybe he, he was, broke a window yeah. or something. Um, they're not going to remember Aunt Thelma who showed up 20 minutes late mm -hmm. uh, and she had the flower girl with her. Right. Okay. What they're going to remember is the moments that they see in the pictures, and that will spark all the other memories. Mm -hmm. So if you capture the right moments and you capture it in the right way, when they look at that picture, they're going to be, I remember that. I love that moment. And that's really what a photographer's job is, because you can give anyone a camera, mm -hmm. and you can have anyone shoot a picture, and right. I can show you how to shoot a picture. That's no problem. Mm -hmm. But to be a photographer, you have to be able to tell the story. And you have to be able to say it so when someone looks at that picture, they know what that person's thinking. They can feel it. Mark, it, you know, what I'm hearing from you is that you bring the, the technical proficiency. You, you know how to, to get the shadows and the lighting and, the, and all that stuff, but you bring that something extra 
that that intuitive passion, if you will, you know, that that sense of heart or feeling to your pictures, and uh, and that's 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 the artistry of photography, you know. And you're right; anybody can take a picture, but to make it art, to make it m memorable, to make it something that somebody looks at it and and it touches them, it takes somebody special. How'd you come about doing that? Lots of practice. <laughs> Lots of practice. Yeah. Lots of practice. Lots of understanding how people think and, and what goes on in an event. Uh -huh. um, lots of going through a lot of my own life experiences. Uh -huh. uh, getting kicked in the butt a few times in your life helps you learn to be a little more humble and helps you see things a lot differently. Experience. Experience. Uh, probably the most expensive but best education I ever had. Cool. So your name again is Flat Cap Fedora. Yes. Now there's a story behind that. Uh, yes. Um, when I started this business, part of it was to show my son and give my son some skill level, skill sets that he can use in life. Mm -hmm. Because we all know that when your kid hits the teen years, and my son's 14, uh -huh. and my oldest, I have two, uh -huh. my youngest is 10, um, they tend to kind of wander around and try to figure out a lot about themselves and what right. they want to do. And I wanted to give him something that I've seen that he had a little liking to to begin with. Mm -hmm. And photography is what he likes. He likes to do that. And so I showed him some of the strings, some of how to do this, how to you know set that. And, and I took him on, a, uh, on my brother's wedding. And yeah. I shot pictures for my brother's wedding. And cool. I had him there when he was about 11. Mm -hmm. That was the first time I really got him out there. Yeah. And uh, had him taking pictures with his own SLR camera. We were shooting Olympus at the time. Oh. And, and you turn him loose with a camera, 11 turn, years old. Turn him loose with an SLR camera, a uh, fully digital, uh, nice, you know, full, full grade camera. Confidence, and, Dad. Hey, it took a lot of training. I wasn't going to let him run around with it. <laughs> wasn't going to let him run with it unless I was good that he was going to be uh -huh. okay with it. And he did great. And it's like, okay, he's got promise. Let me work on this. Mm -hmm. And so fast forward to now, mm -hmm. um, he's done a few pictures. He shot uh, some pictures for a couple of bands. Right. Uh, he likes to work for Dora Hats. Oh, does he? So I was thinking for a name for the business because, you know, Mark Medina Photography sounds so boring and plain. And I was like, well, I like wearing flat caps, which are these. Right. Because uh, they're flat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he likes wearing fedoras. I'm like, hmm, flat cap fedora. Sure. Cool. Father yeah. and son. Father and son. All right. Well, that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, where are you located? Actually, I am home base. So You're I'm, home loca I'm okay. located in Selma. You're located on the internet, though. Yes. How do I find you on the internet? You can find me at www.flatcapfedora, all one word, dot com. And you can see a lot of my work on Facebook at facebook.com slash flatcapfedora, which will take you right to the page. You can go and look at the photos, the videos. So you, um, you've got stuff right, right there on your Facebook page? Yes, I do. All right. I do, um, again, event photography. Uh -huh. I do art. Um, I also did a... Uh, a event for uh, the face of cancer with Holly Carter. Oh, that's uh, great. For Bren Flowers. And that was a wonderful event. That was great. We made Bren feel good and that was the whole point was to give her a day where she could go and completely forget about what was bothering her. That's tremendous, my friend. Yeah. And Holly did a wonderful job with that. I was just happy to be part of it. Oh, great. Listen, Mark, I want to thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Flat Cap Fedora Photography. Yes. Mark Medina. Find him on Facebook. Find him on the Internet. Thanks Thank again, you. Mark. We'll see you. We'll see you when we come back.